Hey, how are all of y'all doing? I am excited about today's history lesson because we are with the time traveling twins again and we are going to study the Bronze Age, which is one of my favorite eras in history. Um, we're going to specifically talk about the Bronze Age in Egypt, which is one of my favorite places to study also. And I have some exciting um, pictures to show today because I went to Egypt last summer. And so those are some pictures that I can share with you. And I'm very excited about that. But first, we are going to go through our Bronze Age Time Traveling Twin series story. And then we will go like we always do and go back and look at the real life pictures. So here we go. Whoosh. Tina and Tim have traveled back in time to 2000 BC. They are in the Bronze Age. This is known as the Pharaonic Age. Tina and Tim start their adventure. They are in the hot sands of Egypt. Tim sees people riding camels. Tina and Tim follow them. They see a very large pyramid. Tina says, Egyptians built this pyramid by hand with large stones. Next, the next to the pyramid, they see an entrance to a tomb. Tina and Tim sneak into the tomb. Tim says the tombs are very special to the Egyptians. Inside the tomb, they see symbols carved into the walls. Tina says these are called hieroglyphics. Um, Egyptians created their own alphabet out of different symbols. Tina picks up some tools off the floor. She notices they are made out of bronze. Tim says many tools were made from bronze. Bronze is a mix of tin and copper. Tim sees a statue. It looks like a person. Tina says it is a statue of a former pharaoh. Pharaohs were Egypt's leaders. Tina and Tim hear footsteps. footsteps. They better leave before they're caught inside the tomb. Tina and Tim start running for the time machine. They get to the time machine and push the buttons. They fly away just in time. Tina and Tim learned a lot from this adventure. It's time for Tina and Tim to time travel once again. Whoosh. Okay, so we went over a few things in the book. So I'm gonna go back to our first page. All right, so we talked about Tim and Tina saw some people riding camels. Well, I'm excited to show you this picture. Okay, so this is Miss Watts last summer in Egypt riding a camel. This was a friend of mine. This is Miss Watts here in the middle, and this is Miss Watts's mom. And look at this, we are all riding camels in Egypt. You can see the pyramids in the back, which we're about to talk about in our next picture. But I thought that was something that was really cool for y'all to see. All right. So right here, we see the pyramids. So the three really tall pyramids um, are, these are known as the Great Pyramids. The three tall ones were burial sites for pharaohs, the kings of Egypt. The three smaller ones here were the queen's um, pyramids where they were buried. So the big ones are for the kings, the smaller ones are for the queens. All right, hieroglyphics. These are carved inside the tombs and temples all over Egypt. This is like their alphabet. So we have A, B, C, D, you know, all of our letters. This is what their letters looked like. They were all different symbols, birds, tools, pottery, people. It was really neat. And eventually we were able to crack the code and figure out what the different hieroglyphics mean in English, so to speak. So here's a picture I wanted to show you. So we could spell our names using hieroglyphics. So something that might be a fun activity for you to do 
is to draw your name in hieroglyphics. You might need to have somebody help you, but I think this would be something that's really fun to do. They have all sorts of different um, symbols for different letters, and some of them are maybe two letters put together, like S-H, C-H. So I know that we have a kid in our class whose name starts with C-H. Um, he could use that symbol instead of having one just for C and one for H. Something else that's really interesting, I'm gonna show y'all another picture. Anytime in hieroglyphics that you see a name and it is in this circular shape, it is called a cartouche. And a cartouche is a sign for a pharaoh or royalty. So if you were looking at the hieroglyphics inside the pyramid and you saw the name of somebody in one of these large circular symbols called a cartouche, you knew that was somebody that was super important. And that was what probably who was buried there. I'm going to show you another um, picture of a cartouche, hopefully one that is actually inside. Okay, so here's a good example. So this is actually a real life cartouche that is um, carved into a pyramid or a temple. So inside, they use those brawn tools, which we're going to talk about again in just a second. And this is somebody's name that is carved into the wall. Probably whatever story is being depicted on the wall, this is who it's about. All right, bronze tools. On this screen, you can see a bunch of different pictures of bronze tools that were used. So right here, this says it's like a warrior's personal toolkit. It had all sorts. It looks like small knives, hooks, all sorts of different things. Here's some bronze weapons that were used. And there's all sorts. Here's a good example of tools. So it looks like we almost have something sort of like a hatchet, some knives, a pick. Really cool, interesting things. And this is the kind of tools that they used to build the pyramids. And our last picture that we're going to look at today is a picture of a pharaoh, a pharaoh statue. So there's all sorts of different ones, and they were made out of all sorts of different things. So this one looks like it's made out of a rock. Some of them that are attached to um, the temples are very big, very big. Um, and they have the different um, stones that's made out of. Here's a picture of one. And look, right here's another cartouche. So this is the name of that pharaoh. Also, this is a um, pharaoh, and it looks like it has different colors. Um, King Tut is, um, is who this statue is made out of, or after. Um, so the actual um, King Tut, I'm going to show you that one just so that you can see um, what the actual one looks like. So here it is. Um, this is the sarcophagus that King Tut was put inside and it was made to look like him. So it was gold and blue, very, very pretty and elaborate, expensive. So those are some different um, topics and things about Egypt. Um, like I said, you can probably tell this is one of Miss Watts' favorite time periods to um, learn about. I just think it's very interesting, and I can't wait to keep going in our series. Tomorrow, we're going to learn about the Iron Age, so that's exciting. That's a whole new set of time and a whole new set of people um, that we're going to learn about, and so I hope you all have enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.